Hey everyone, this is Manly Bandai Zero, and welcome to part 2 of Lyeet. Previously on Lyeet, we entered a town full of vampires, and then someone was murdered. Now we have to solve this mystery before the situation becomes any more of a pain in the neck. That informant with the hat just stopped moving. And I'd only just been talking with her. Can I sleep tonight? I might not. Don't worry, little girl. They called in Phoenix Wright. He'll solve this case. And also, Detective Conan is coming, too. Ow! Finally. We're going out. Get yourself ready. I'm sleepy. Huh. You look pretty different with your hair down. I've got more where that came from. I'm up. Morning. Good. Let's go. Long time no see. Yeah. I expected this, so... You're always around when these things happen. A child? Hey, let me make it clear. She's not my kid. Captain, I'm all done with... Yo. You again? I don't suppose you're the culprit in this case. And that child there... Isn't she a dragon? First fraud, now kidnapping, next lollycons? Where does it end with you? Dragon? Listen, I'm not a lollycon. I just have a little sister fetish. Not in that way! She hatched from an egg. The egg just suddenly appeared under my bed. And hey, just try and prove that fraud incident. You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? Calm down a bit, Brett. But... As you wish. Hmm, indeed. She doesn't seem to be a dragon. Fellow dragons know each other just like that, huh? He's a dragon? Right, forgive me. Hello there, miss. I'm Neil Macefield, captain of the police. This is Vice Captain Brett. And he and I are both dragons, the same as you. You can tell he has a fiery personality because his hair is red, and you can tell I have a cool personality because my hair is blue. We're color coded, see? I've never met any other dragons before. <laughs> I'm Athena. Call me Effie. Hmm. We still have business to attend to, so excuse us for now. We intend to stay until the culprit is caught. Come to us for anything. Captain. Unless I indicate otherwise, it is our duty to protect even these two. Alright. Thanks. So long, then. So, those guys are dragons, too. First time meeting them, huh? Well, I've been avoiding them as much as I can. But when it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Time for me to gather info. You can go play, I guess. Okay. You know the drill. Don't wander off too far. I know. Alright. I'll see her first. I mean, it seems like an obvious vampire attack, but it, would it be that? I don't think it's a wolf, though. Hmm, who would have motive for murder? The Broken Light. He did the murder. He was jealous of that person's apples being so bright and shiny. And the light was... It's just so dull and, you know, broken and dead. He had to have murdered her. The body grows large, while the inside degenerates. No, no, I'm not speaking of anyone, just talking to myself. 
Morning, Mr. Swindler. I'm Leo here. So, any new info? Right. I'll tell you what I gathered yesterday. Hmm. Your art looks a bit different, because you look like a blonde here. This was long ago. A family of vampires lived in a certain town. They were very gentle souls, but one day, a townsperson went missing. But one day, those who had gone missing were found in the family's mansion, drained of their blood. Was this that town? No, this happened elsewhere. Afterward, the family was executed as feared vampires. But one of the family was able to quietly escape from the town. And they came here and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened. But one day, decades later, another townsperson was attacked. What then? That's all I learned. I couldn't find any records of anything after that. The pages were... ripped right out. Ah, right. This was written in a book. Diary, perhaps. By someone named... Geo Rigfire. For real? Then it's the same as what I found. Ah. In short, the ones who would know the most should be those siblings. Right. I'll go check with them. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah? What? My payment? I already knew all that. What? You should have told me that first. Here. What's this now? A tea cookie. I could have told you that. I I'm asking, why are you showing me this? Oh? Does an informant like you really not know about these cookies? Huh? Well, uh... Can't believe there'd be anyone who doesn't... I know, of course, I know about these cookies. From Milk Tea Town? Yes. Only one baked every two months. Yeah, yeah. You know all about these cookies, do you? Believe me, yes. Then you must know the value of them, right? I'll take it as payment. That you will. Counting on you if you find any new info. Yes, thank you. I'm pretty sure that cookie was just a normal cookie he got from what's her name. I think your mistress should maybe be re-educated, starting with the basics. I must admit, on numerous occasions, that the mistress is a bit slow on the uptake. But as such, I do get to see some amusing things. As long as I get my due pay, I have no real qualms. Not a bad attitude. It seems someone was attacked. Even after my insisting they refrain from going out at night. I'd like to ask you some things about that. Oh? And who are you two? I said I was a traveler, but the truth is. So this makes you... a detective? Yeah. Sorry I had to hide it. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, too. Alright, I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. While you're here, will you take this payment of this cookie I just found outside? It's highly valuable. Here's my credentials that say I'm the president of this country. And also, this thing always says you owe me about two million dollars. I mean, gee. You trust me, right? Now then, what were you doing last night? I was reading a book, then I nodded off. After that, I was woken by a person's scream. Then, I locked the front door since he would be dangerous if the wolf came inside. I see. Now then, are you familiar with the vampire legend in this town? Well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was such a legend, but it was long ago, 
And that family has long since perished, yes? Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye. This guy's a terrible liar. But for now, fine. Next, his sister. Hello. Mind if we talk for a... No. No! I see. Little does he, Leo, know that she probably thinks no is yes. Kids are tough to deal with. Incidentally, the design for the detective patch got changed last year, didn't it? They changed it a lot. Wish I knew how to make those replicas myself. Guess I'll go ask him some things too. What do you want? Found anything out? You've been here investigating, I hope. As you saw for yourself, the victim, Carol Delita, was stabbed with a knife. There were multiple stab wounds. But not much bleeding, it seems. Not much blood at all, in fact. So then what's the sticky stuff on the wall? Oh, it looks like blood, but it's just some kind of juice. Tastes a little sour, I guess. Probably Loveberry. You licked it. That was the fastest way. Captain, might I recommend not licking everything you see? Even if they were poison, I would... Oh, forget it. What about the wolf? Wolf, huh? Still haven't looked too hard, but we can't find it. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. Maybe I should fish around for a little more info. I bet Effie will bring in something herself. Hmm. Will she? I found another! More people, more lies! Weird! And I got more cookies! Let's beat this one up. Tasty! Not very big, though. Hmm? What now? Maybe read some books? I gotta practice my reading. More lies. This one looks like a little dog. Eyes are pretty cute, actually. And where are you? Let's see... Uh, um... Fa uh, fa vampire. That's not it. Vampire. F -v 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 vampire. Vampirimon. I, I give up. I can't read it at all. Huh? A photo. Seems kind of old. It's a man, a boy, and a girl. Something's on the back. Yeah. <laughs> can't read it though. Is it okay if I take this? Papa says that when you get your hands on something, it's yours, so I'm taking it. I'm bored of books. Let's go somewhere else. Papa is teaching you some very good things, I guess. On a stroll? Yep. I see. Don't wander off too far, please. You know, I'm a little bit curious about something here before I go in there. There is a room back here I can never access. 
And it is a kitchen, so I'm kind of wondering. I'm assuming the worst, actually. Effie. Yo-ho! Not gonna play outside? Outside? Well, I can't leave my room. Because my brother tells me not to. Oh, well, let's talk then. Okay. So you've never left this room? Well, it's only when outsiders are here in town. But even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Why? I don't know, but my brother goes out a lot at night. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. Why? I don't know. Hey, what's that photo? Oh, this? It was stuck in the cover of a book in the library. That's me, and my brother. Oh! Hmm, it's kind of faded, but now that you mention it, it does look like you, Rachel. Can you read what it says on the back? Yeah. It's my name, and brother's. The other one is our father? Maybe? It says you. So she can read. Nice. My brother said there weren't even any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother a liar? Yeah. He never tells me anything. Ooh, only can eat buffet. It's really fun to get to talk to a few, Effie. Whenever anyone comes, my brother says not to talk. Leo tells me to shut up all the time, too. So we're buds. Yeah. That's right. I hear a lot of noisy talking outside today. Did something happen? Huh? You don't know? Someone, uh, died last night. I see. Again. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Will you talk with me again? Yeah, sure. I think we can rule her out as a suspect. I'm not sure about the brother yet, but maybe their father is still alive and roaming around hunting down people for their blood. Or it could be someone trying to frame the vampires. Huh. Hey, what are you reading? What's it say? Hmm, you can't read yet. Nope, I'm trying, but not a word. I see. Shall I teach you some? Sure. Then let's see. Hmm. This is... town. Correct. And this is... Loveberry. Correct. Alright. This is... Vampire. All correct. Congrats. Hooray! Whenever you're curious about something, look it up right away. You're more likely to remember doing it yourself, rather than being taught. Have this too. A prize for your effort. Candy, thanks. So you're a dragon too. Yep, we be dragons. The Hobbit Desolation of Smog 3D. Directed by Peter Jackson. <laughs> you look happy. That's a relief. She's going to put on significant weight again. Um, sh What? You want some of these too? Oh? Uh, but, but Well, hmm. Alright, but only if you tell me info of equivalent value. Info? Info! Information! This is business, my dear. You must repay me for what I'm giving you. Hmm. What would be good? Let's see... Ah! How about him? The big one. Tell me his weaknesses. Weaknesses? Uh... He can't handle beer. He gets woozy right away. Oh? Also, he told me he doesn't really like spicy foods. I see. And he lies all the time. I know that! So, if I somehow summon him and somehow make him have beer and something spicy... I can defeat him. Oh! 
That's true. You're smart, lady. Here is your cookie payment. Say thanks. Yay! On equal standing with a little girl, she has much to learn. Hmm? It's you. On your own now. Yep. I see. Has he done anything to you? Why do you ask? Are you asking if he's a lollicon? People and dragons working together is a very rare occurrence. Hmm? But how much do you know about dragons? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know anything about myself. I see. And I'll tell you what I know. So you look a little bit different too with your actual drawing rather than just your sprite. The sprites kind of confuse me. Because their hair ornaments and things kind of blend in with that kind of crescent moon going on there. Horns and wings! Oh, I see. He uh, just transformed a little bit. Are you able to put these out freely? Well, I can, but it wears me out. And they're really wonky shaped. So, still unstable. It doesn't particularly require anything but a simple application of force. But, these are the symbols of being a dragon. Stop making that face like it's really tasty. Eat it all. I don't mind. Mmm. You cop guys have really good cake. Cop cake. Cop cake. There are different kinds of dragons. I don't remember any of the same kind as me. And you're... I eat lies. I can taste flavor. But if it's not a lie, it doesn't fill me up. Why's that? Another unique kind of dragon, then. It seems that dragons are always born for a special reason. We're trying to find out what that is ourselves, but we still don't know. Are there a lot of dragons? Yeah. There are a few dozen in the custody of the police. Custody? Hmm? Oh, right. We're protecting them. Protecting? As I've said before, it's very rare that dragons and humans live together. Our police force is a special one, which cooperates with people. But I don't much trust humans. From what we know, there's a good chance of dragon eggs appearing before humans. But then they're sold as decorations or as slaves, and many have been stolen. Slaves? Decorations? Made to work for someone, and not being treated well. Do you get the picture? When I was born, too. I was locked in a cage for show. But the captain saved me, and after that, he led me on the force. Now we're just two dragons, two different hair colors, two different personalities with nothing to lose and everything to gain. We also work to rescue dragons like Pret, who are being untreated unjustly. Why do people do that to dragons? Hmm? Due to rarity? We're dragons so we don't know exactly why. But it's rare to see a dragon like you who trusts people and works with them. Though I certainly don't consider him a person that's all worth trusting. Brett. Still, if you believe in him, in Teobalda Leonards, we won't interfere. But I wouldn't recommend being ready for anything when you work with a human. So, try not to get bullied? Yes, but there's a difference of lifespan. Dragons are ordinarily rather long-lived. So it's very likely he would die before you. I've experienced this myself. So, if you should ever be left all alone, you can come to us. We'll then gladly protect you in his stead. Got it. I'm sorry if I've made you feel lonely with that remark. But it is a long while off. Until then... You should cherish every day, minute, and second with those you value. Okay, I'll cherish Papa. Hey, that thing you said... Tilly Ball Lion Pants or something. Is that Papa's real name? Theobaldo Leonards. Don't tell me he didn't even tell you his real name. Theobaldo Leonards? 
That's one pathetic name. Thanks. Right. Sorry to prowl on. You have our support. Papa, hmm. Does he make her call him her father? Could he have that kind of fetish? Alright. Brett, like I said before, he was treated as an attraction from birth. He had many wounds, so I bet he was tortured too. Even after we took him in, he has still hesitant to open himself to us. So it took a long time, but now he's very reliable. And you, Mr. Captain? Well, I'm a dragon who's lived for a long time. But one of the most precious people I've met was the captain before me. I can't remember it clearly, but my egg appeared in front of her. She was a wonderful, heroic woman, no doubt. But with her shorter lifespan, she's long since left us. But I never think I should have never met her. If I hadn't, I'm sure I wouldn't be with the police either. Because I wouldn't even be able to feel what I do. That's why you should cherish your time with those you hold dear. It's too late once they're gone. Okay. Everyone just likes giving me candy. So this is where you got to, Runt. Leo! Had enough fun. Anything of note. Um, well, I did this, and this, and blah 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 blah. Wah wah wah. Wah 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 wah. Ah, I see. I'll make a note of this photo, and the rest. I wonder if this will do. What are we doing? Talking to a certain liar. Let's go. Hey, Leo? What? Do you like me? Name three things I like. Uh... Money, beer, and women. Correct. And... I'm a woman. God. No. You're just a brat. And I'm not a lollycon. I have a father-daughter relationship fetish. But I'm not a lollycon. Get it right. So... Do you hate me? Yeah. Hate your guts. What? Idiot. If I hated you, I wouldn't be carting you around with me, would I? Oh, you lied about hating me, so that makes you like me. I like you too. Well, that was a lie, too. Which is it? The opposite of a lie about a not lie behind the behind of a not lie's lie. The opposite of a not lie or... Let's go. Keith. Oh, excuse me. It's getting dark already, so I'm feeling drowsy. I'd like to talk some. Is now alright? Oh, yes, though my brain might be a bit slow. If you insist, detective. Detective? Leo's a skip. Good. Now then. I'd like you to repeat what you told me earlier today. Also, if you could tell me what happened after you heard the scream. Ah, uh... Last night, I was reading and then I nodded off. I heard a scream, so, uh... I heard a scream, which woke me up. Then, I locked the front door. I never went outside at all. It would have been dangerous if the wolf got inside. You told some lies there. I'll explain after we take care of this. Hmm, he smells like lies, but I don't know. If you're not sure, check my notes and remember what you heard. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? Because you'll never progress immediacy if I just tell you. Makes sense. I'll do my best. Let's see. 
Wolf is dangerous. Unlock the front door. I never went out at all. And I just nodded off. And this one's obviously a lie. I don't know if this one is a lie or not. I gotta think about this one. This one's a lie right here, probably. Now, let's see what else would be a lie. Okay, we have the memos here. So hardly any blood, only juice in the wall. Almost no animals found around the town. So the wolf one we know was a lie. After the sun last night, Keith went outside. Rachel doesn't talk or leave her room. Rachel was told by her brother that no old, old records remain. When we have the old photo. So let's see. This one is probably a lie. Because even Rachel said that uh, he went out last night. Last night, your sister saw you leaving the house, Keith. You told me that your sister was a quiet type who rarely spoke. But she did talk to this girl here. I see. On top of that, it seems it was you who told her not to talk or go outside. In addition, not a single animal could be found around the whole town. So there's really no wolf, is there? So then, why? Since it's dangerous outside, especially when strangers are in town, haven't you seen that someone attack yourself? I didn't want her to see that kind of thing, nor to tell her about it. So about this vampire legend, you said you didn't know about it. But a book in the library had information about vampires. A diary, I suppose. The author seemed to be one Eel Rakefire. A relative of yours, surely. And in this photo, in addition to Mr. Yale, there's you and your sister with your names written on the back as well. You also have evidently told your sister there were no past records remaining. Yes, that is indeed my father's name. So a legend. It's real, certainly. We are descendants of that vampire family. And? Shouldn't you be leaving this town quickly? Huh? What do you mean by... Because it's a dark night tonight. Effie! Leo! It's the same as with that informant girl. Where did he go? I saw him go outside. He was really fast. I couldn't catch him. No, that's fine. We have to follow. The cops should be fine, but Feathers might be in danger. Huh? The lock's busted. Seems sturdy. What the? Kind of feels like he's done this before, huh? Hey, lend me that. Huh? That's my collar! That juice stuff was making it hard to see. Man, this is all sticky. <laughs> Jeez! When we get to the next town, I'll buy you a new one. Okay. If the captains can meet up with Feathers, that'd give me some relief, but... Wonder if there's any other exits. What'd you do with Keith? Why'd you murder her? She was getting too close to the secret of the gold. The vampire gold will be mine. It is the inheritance of my ancestors. What's he been reading? How to kill vampires? Drive a stake in their heart. Cut off their head. I think that's the book Keith was reading. Yeah, no duh. 
what's the meaning of this? Maybe there'd be something in his room, too. Maybe it is the father he's been... He's been hunting him Alucard style. And this is a book about vampires, too. Vampires are weak to sunlight. Is this true? Seems it hurts him a bunch. But hold on. When I first met him... What a liar we've got here. If my guess is right... Is his sister Rachel alright? Uh, well... He told her not to leave when strangers are around, so she's never left her room. I think I should ask her something. Maybe he's not a vampire, and this is all confusing to me. Don't! You're gonna scare the heck out of Rachel. Rachel? Hey, I wanna talk. No good. She asleep? There might not be much time. Lies. Overflowing with lies. Can't keep under control anymore. A flood of lies? When you're driven by lies, things get annoying. If they're overflowing, I gotta make less of them. I gotta eat them. All cleaned up? Hmm? What's this? A key for somewhere, I guess? And what rooms are locked? Hey, Leo. You won't die on me, will you? What's this all of a sudden? If you did die, I... Listen. Just shut up and follow behind me. As for the rest, I'll protect you. What was that sound? That one's a mess. Don't bother. Try to avoid it. Uh-oh. I always knew it. As soon as I saw that kitchen with the locked door in the back, I knew that was bad news. The page is torn out of that book. With each generation, the vampire blood in our family has weakened, but there is a small chance of offspring being born with denser vampire blood. Control of their powers is unstable, and they may attack people without realizing. Existing with humans is a difficult prospect. Thus, since moving to this town, a rule has been established to do away with such children if one is born. Two children are born to us, and one of them was born with a higher concentration of vampire blood. Their powers have not awakened, but it can't be long until then. But I couldn't lay a hand on the child of mine. My wife, too, perished upon birthing the second child. So, I don't want to lose any more. Tomorrow, I'll hold a discussion with the humans of the town. It's a dark night tonight. So one of them has awakened as a vampire, but the other's fine? Then only one of the siblings is a vampire. So one of them doesn't suck blood? On the other hand, one of them has to suck blood to live. Maybe all the prior townspeople and animals were attacked. Captain's orders. I'm here to save you. Huh? Where'd you come from, mister? I'm a shadow dragon. It allows me to generally ignore physical obstacles. Hey, Vice Captain. Should be a girl in this mansion. Any idea about her? A girl? This is the last room I've checked, and all I've found is you two. Rachel's not here? Where is the captain? He evacuated the informant and her assistant, then went to patrol outside. Sounds dangerous. Hey, what are you mumbling on about? 
Get us outside quick. After that, I want you to go guard the informant. And what do your orders mean to me? Mr. Brett, please, just this once. You'd better catch him. You're lucky this girl is so cute and moy. We're out. Listen, it's not like I'm lending you a hand or anything. I don't really care about you, you get that? I'll go to check the informant for the captain. Thanks. You're real help. It's a whole mess of lies and truths. A bunch of bad, hazy feelings. We gotta do something about this. And quick. Oh my god. So that's why you're not supposed to touch him. See, so I took away my overpowered equipment, so... Captain! It's... Almost out of oil. But I can light it for a second. Captain! Is he dead? Did someone die again? Look, he's... No, I don't. Mr. Captain! Do you think I am? I'm a goddamn dragon. Think I died that easy? This sensation looks like I died. Morning, Captain. Blood wasn't sucked. Hmm. They do say dragon blood doesn't taste very good. Good to know. Um, Mr. Captain, are you a ghost? Spirit? Zombie? Zombie? I'm an immortal dragon. I'm undead. Immortal? He can't die, this guy. Stab him, cook him, put him in the stew. Can't die? But he just revived, so I doubt he can do much. Yeah, you're right. The one who attacked me, it was that girl. I was caught completely unawares. Then, well, as you see. After that, she ran further down, then suddenly collapsed. Then another came. Leave the rest to us. But... We're experts from here on out, you see. Let me rest here a bit. Anything happens, I'll be right there. He's just gonna sleep? Still got the knife in him. Let's go, Effie. So I took off my overpowered equipment, so let's see if this fight's a little bit interesting. Good to see you again. So you didn't leave town after all. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. No complaints if I kill you and suck your blood. First question, are you a vampire? That's right, I am a vampire. Did you attack a woman last night? Yes, that was me. Enough lies. Keep it to that, please. I first met you in the morning, with the sun still out. And I found the rest of the diary stowed in that room behind the kitchen. According to that, only one sibling inherited the vampire blood. Lies? I'm not lying. It was me who attacked her last night and sucked her blood. You're gonna get swallowed up, kid. It was me who attacked the townspeople, and my own father. I did all of it. Rachel didn't do anything. <clears throat> His lies are becoming too huge. Don't go answering questions I didn't even ask. You shouldn't lie so much if you're not used to it. Effie? No, it's too big, too sad. I don't wanna. Then are you gonna wait for him to be swallowed up by the lies? 
I don't want that either. It's what you have to do, and only you can do it. Because I'm a liar, too. Eat it all up, so you won't tell these lies anymore. I'll do it. I'll eat... I'll eat all of it for you. Rachel? So final appearance reminded me a bit of the Cheshire Cat. He looked kinda- had that kinda distorted look. I almost- I almost looked like him. I see. Father kept it a secret all along. I wonder if vampires can make do with animal blood. <laughs> because there's human blood in me too, of course. Rachel, did you... attack someone last night? Last night? I was sleeping. Uh, I was sleeping, right? Is that right? Never mind then. I'm sure Wolf must have gotten into the town. You should be careful, Rachel. Brother? 
I'm sorry for strangling you. I felt strange all of a sudden. All the townspeople left after that incident as a fleeing. We've hunted out all the animals around town. My blood alone can't keep up. There's so little left. What should I do? People? Travelers? I nodded off at night. Rachel went outside. When I went out, I found Rachel asleep and a human's. How long did you know I'd been lying? Hmm. Around the time I lied about being a detective and questioned you. Also, I'm still bleeding. I really need some medical aid. Plus, you have a habit of smiling when you lie. You should be wary of habits like that. <laughs> you know, I think I'd much prefer you acting natural like this. Ah, <sighs> it wears me out. But all the pieces were in plain sight. Did you... You're right. Maybe I wanted someone to stop me. I knew it was all just selfishness. Both my father and I opposed that rule. They couldn't lay a hand on Rachel. But when you look at this, I suppose there was a good reason for that rule. I'll have to redeem myself, somehow. This town has become so empty. Come to think of it, you're rather blood-stained. I could lend you my clothes, if you like. No. You want to be out of here before those guys wake up. I went to help them and I got punched, and Mr. Captain fainted. Oh, we're all bleeding, my god. What the hell? Don't scare me. And isn't that cookie thing Levin mentioned a load of bull? What did he mean anyway? The world may never know. We should get going. Ah, oh, sleepy. I, we have to walk that path again? If you don't like it, I'll leave you here. Um, I do like it. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. <laughs> a sor- Rock, paper, scissors. If you win, then sure. Got it. Here we go. Rock. Paper. And we'll never find out if the piggyback ride ever happened. Mystery greater than where the vampire gold was or who Old Man Willers is. Hey, where are we going next? Hmm. Somewhere not too much of a walk would be nice. Somewhere with lots of fun and games. Or somewhere cool. Hey, Leo. When I get smarter, I'll eat your lies for you too. Maybe you should focus on learning to read first. What are you so happy about? Ah, uh, a romance bonded and shared bloodshed. Maybe we should wipe this stuff off my forehead. Nah, I'll leave it there. It looks cool. Well, that's it for Lie Eat. i kind of confused by the ending a bit. I don't know how they actually resolved the situation. Did they... Did they just leave and say, Okay, mystery solved, your lies are cured? 
enjoy your sister that you can't seem to find any more blood for? Or did they... Maybe they took the sister in? Or did they kill her? I, I really don't know. I doubt they killed her. That seems a little too grim for this type of story. Pretty much the only one who ever dies is Apples over there. And I feel like that's a little bit of a flaw in the story. They... We don't really know what happened. Like, what happened to the police? They just leave? Did they... Did they, you know, did they arrest anyone? I don't know. At least drawings were cute. And it looks like there'll probably be more of these games, I imagine. I don't think they... Me, uh, Mio Shiba is gonna just let these characters kind of go. And you can even see in the little ending CG, uh... Leo's already got a new identity. He's got black hair. Or maybe that's his original hair color. I don't know. But it seemed like they have more adventures. I wouldn't mind seeing a more in-depth, like, kind of series, where they kind of go around conning people and solving mysteries like that. Kind of like a little more fantasy-like Phoenix Wright. I think that could be cool. If that ever happens. Anyway. So, thank you for watching me play Light. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.